Hey guys, so I've got a uh, got a few minutes. I'm able to talk. Basically, you know, lack of videos. I've actually officially ran out. I go to my video manager. There is there is a U4 uh, multiplayer covered until the 23rd, but everything else, U4, Elder Kings, everything. I am out. I'm out. Channel's dry, buddy. Channels all dry. In case you're unaware, I've been I've mentioned it a few times over the last couple of months. I've got a temporary job through December working nights. Um nine hours I'm doing uh, what am I doing? I'm doing nine nine PM until six AM which of course means I'm sleeping from about eight AM till like six PM which then leaves me Three hours throughout the day, and I gotta do shit like shower, eat food, get ready. I haven't managed to find any time at all to uh, to get ready. Because of course, if I'm going in at nine, I'm leaving at half eight. So it's actually only like a couple of hours. It's, it's ridiculous, but yeah. So the channel has gone dry. I'm uh, going away for the next three or four days as well. So I obviously won't be able to get anything recording there. So yeah, until. I think the 19th at the latest, 19th at the latest, worst case, worst case scenario, 19th at the latest, uh, it'll be this, but I'm going to try, I might even put off showering, because that takes up like an hour, and I'm going to shower for all that time, get ready, might put it off for a day or two, try and get some videos, do something daily, either you, probably you for that's what I've been enjoying the most, that and uh, Mountain Blade. Sega 2's been on a back burner a bit. But yeah, I'll uh, try and get something wrapped up. I'm actually using my uh, Total Beats headset. I'm not using my professional microphone at the moment, in case you're wondering about that. Yeah, I'll try and get something sorted. Maybe um, maybe I'll take my Mac away with me with this headset. I won't be taking my professional mic set up, but that doesn't really matter. I might try and uh, get something done while I'm away, but, you know, not being funny, right? I'm going away. I don't really want to be... Uh, working, but if I do get bored and have a bit of spare time, I'll uh, I'll take this with me, see if I can get something done. The problem will be uploading it, rendering it, all etc. But yeah, I should be able to uh, I should be able to do that. I don't know, but yeah, about this uh, this temp job, I'm doing the uh, Christmas special at Royal Mail. I think I've mentioned that a few times. I'm working, you know, nights. Royal Mail is. It's weird because I come from a rather privileged background. My father was a very successful businessman. I inherited quite a bit of shit, including two properties. I have 60 acres of land in Canada. It's like, you know, it's quite, quite good. Of course, my income has uh, dried up since because on the year he died, they actually lost the main, uh, the main business contract. And he wasn't around to like get new ones, which he would have, because the guy was fucking too charismatic. That guy was. What would he be? Who would my father be in the Game of Thrones universe? Charismatic and good with money. Maybe a Tywin. Um, a Tywin. With the fathering abilities of uh, what's his name? Randall Tarly. <laughs> yeah, he's a Tywin. Um, I'm, of course... What am I? Rage gets pissed off when things don't work correctly. Rather smart. Um, yeah, maybe I'm... Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Who knows? But, yeah. Royal Mail did that for the experience mainly. I mean, it is an extra couple of thousand pounds, which is not not too shabby, but it's mainly for the experience. I want to know what a uh, full-time like job is like without, like, when I was growing up, full-time job work from whatever age till 17 was with my father's business. And after that, it was with my own um, my own businesses, stuff I do on my online sales, etc. And the sales I have in Canada, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to experience this full-time work, and it's just, it's sometimes fun. Like, I've been meeting people, I've got this one buddy who has opted to drop me off of his own, his own uh, accord, I think is the word to say. He offered that, you know, I get on with a few people. But what I will say, the managers are 
fucking useless. Not the top dog. The top dog, he's, he's alright. But the, the senior managers, the normal managers, they are fucking useless and dumb as fuck. I don't know, maybe, maybe it's just because they're night managers. They're not as, like, switched on. Maybe the daytime guys are good. I mean, I took nights because it's actually, like, £2 an hour, you know. I thought, fuck it, if I'm going to do job, I may as well do it getting paid more. It's just like, fuck, you know, these people, are f even the, most of the employees are like, there's a reason these people work nights. Like, maybe they're not safe to be around society. Loads of them are slow in the heads and stuff. Quite a few of them are actually, like, pretty good guys. I'd say, like, 9 out of 10 are, like, dead behind the eyes. And the, the 10th man, you know, when there's, like, 200 employees, you only get, like, 20 guys. But, yeah, some of them are all right to talk to. Some of them are all right. Talk to these guys... Uh, the casual workers, it's like, what they do is they, uh, some, a lot of them travel. They travel around, they have a play, a few guys have placed in France. Talking to this guy, he had his own uh, business over in that uh, Cape de Verde. He came over to see his, uh, see his family, of course, does this casual work. It's like a, uh, like a, uh, like a, just source of income, etc. Just pay for this day and that. Some of these guys have really interesting stories, especially the old ones. I mean, I'm only 20. I'm the youngest guy there. I'm the fucking smartest. But it's like, loads of these guys, these older ones, that are actually, like, got a brain. They are... I like talking to people and learning about their experiences. It's really cool. Some of the lives these people have lived and shit. So I've enjoyed that. Go on, the closest guy to my age is actually 25. I've been talking to him a lot. He's the guy who's, like, been uh, commuting together on the way... On the way home, he's alright. Travels around. Got a few uh, interesting stories. He has an appreciation of the uh, Hispanic girls, just like me. He's got a Spanish girlfriend. I haven't had a Spanish girlfriend, but I've had South American girlfriends who are descendants of Spanish. Yeah, it's pretty good. But, yeah, like I say, the management is just... The guys are stupid. I actually had an argument with two of the senior managers today. Two of them. Two senior managers versus me. What it is, you get, there's several different departments. You have the, uh, you have the big machine departments, which I tried working on, I can't work there, my allergies. You have the, uh, letter sorting departments. They sit there, they have a bunch of letters, they post them into the different postcodes and it gets ready for the mailman in the morning. You get the sorters with the boxes and stuff. They put the boxes, basically like they have one, you have all these, uh, different, they're called Yorks. It's basically a container or let's say a bin, a big bin. You read the postcode, right, that's BH, what's it, we'll stick it in there. And that's TDT, whatchamacallit, but over there. And, yeah, it's just manual work. There's other guys in the docks, etc. There's all these departments. And I've been there, what, 10 days? 10 days. And I've noticed between the departments, there's always guys finishing first. And then there's guys finishing later, not getting the work done. And I, of course, was on the, I was in the group finishing first and then I got moved because they're finishing first to the shit job which is called sorting letters for a couple of days and then they started finishing first by quite a lot more I think they were finishing like second anyway they're finishing like half an hour early and then I noticed um because I'm you know you guys know me I'm a manager so I play these grand strategy games I don't like when things don't work well I get very irritated by systems not working I realised their system was garbage, and like I said, the management there, these guys, the two senior managers, just, they are stupid. I had an, today, earlier today, I had an argument with two of them, and it's just, they weren't listening at all. They were stuck in their ways, it's like, no, we have guys over here, for that, you can't just wander off over there, but basically, basically I fucked off. I wasn't happy being stuck in the shit job when I knew they were going to be finished an hour early and the guys outside would need, need people because they're not going to do it right. So I fucked off. I went to work to the other one. They weren't happy. They were they were basically these two guys. What are their fucking names? Dickie and fucking, what's the other prick's name? The tall guy is usually referred to. What's his fucking name? Pete. Pete, yeah, these guys, they weren't happy with me. It's like, I've gone off, worked hard, they're not happy, they think, oh, 
Ah, oh, shut the f <sighs> If you think I'm confrontational with games, you just fucking... I'm a mouthy to any year old. I don't, des I don't belong in a working environment. I can't be dealing with these shits. They said these two guys, they weren't happy. They were trying to get me, like, sacked, if you can call it sacked. It's just, like, a three-week job. I can't really exactly call it that. They're trying to get me sacked. They're basically saying, right, get over there and do shut the fuck up and work. Or piss off, we'll sack you. Of course, I weren't happy with that. So I opted for a third option. I was like, right, well, I want to speak to Michael. Michael's the top man. He's uh, He's pretty cool. He's short, he's black, I get on very well with him, I think he's from, uh, he's from, yeah, I was talking about him, he's from the same, like, area, sort of northeast Essex area where I'm originally from, so I was talking about him, talking to him about all that kind of stuff, get on quite well with him, but yeah, whenever I see him, this guy's, like, determined to see me, like, get sat of, like, argued with him in front of staff, for, like, ten minutes, about allocation of, of labour and shit. Trying to get things to work smoothly. And they're like, no, there's not enough work over there. We need you over there. Uh, we're not having it. Whenever it is Michael guy. Them, they started speaking first. With their raised voices. Like, oh, this is a, where we can't simply have wonder off. No, blah, blah, blah. All that shit. And then I started talking to Michael. He asked me what was going on. I told him my opinion. That I believed the labour force was being not used not in the best interest of Royal Mail. Etc. I pointed out that some certain areas have been finishing a lot before others. They're obviously overstaffed. Other ones are understaffed. Etc. Etc. And uh, I asked him. I was like, right, you should. I asked you. You should put me over there. I'm telling you that that's where I should be. I'm fully trained in that area. Etc. Whatever. And they've got a lot more work than other departments. And he. He agreed. Like, he fucking agreed. And I felt so smug. Because at first, you've got to understand, two senior managers arguing against you and then you calling them out to go see the top guy. And they're determined to get you sacked because they think you're like, an, what's it called, subordinate... Uh, a pissy employee or whatever. They want to get you fucked off. And then to come out of it. As being backed by the top man. Being backed by Michael. I was so fucking smug. I mugged those two pricks off. Not my words. That was the words of this other guy. This other guy. The, the top dock worker. Who of course gets all the work going through. Because you have the docks. The van's back in. The guys get it off. They like knew. But of course no one's as smart as me. To be able to allocate shit. And it's like. Michael's back to then. I was like, yep, I'm up. Whatever. And it's like, well, you've really mugged them off. You know, I agree. I have really mugged them off. Because they together have, like, I think one guy's been there 30 odd years, one they've been there 20 odd years. So they've got between 50 and 60 years' experience between them. And me, after like, what, 10 days, have done their job for them better. It's, it's fucking brilliant. I love it. Of course, wasn't happy about having a con, have a confrontation with two senior managers, both at least double my age. Oh, f if they've been working there that long, easily like fifteen, sixty, or whatever. All them years of experience above me, and I just oh, yes. Victor, that's why I'm still awake. My shift ended at six. I'm actually recording this at what ten past seven. Start at seven. Usually, I just fall straight. I'm just I'm. Too much adrenaline going on, man. Conversation, having a confrontation with two senior fucking managers and getting backed personally by the top dog. I gave him a big handshake in front of the other two artists. When he agreed, he was like, yeah, I think we should let him work over there. It wasn't even just that. There was so much work there and I was so correct. I had to go and go to the other one of the senior managers and I had to ask him for another couple of guys because we were so fucking overworked. Oh, you should have seen his face, this guy. His name's Richard, but he gets called Dicky. Because uh, I don't know if this is the same in every culture, but Dick is short for Richard. 
And so I don't know, I guess he just like Diggy with a fucking face on this guy when he had to send over two other guys. Oh my fucking god, I loved it. Like the satisfaction I've got from today having this this scenario. They could probably refuse to pay me and I would still be happy and come out as a positive. Oh, I'm so happy. But yeah, Royal Mail. Um, if you got packages in the UK going through for Christmas, etc. Letters, whatever. Um, yeah, they're being looked after. Some people are very stupid and dead, dumb as fuck. But ultimately, the job is going smoothly. But I will point out this. I don't know if like people know, there isn't a uh, there isn't any surcharges during the Christmas period. So if you're sending uh, things through stamps. And uh, not first or second class stamps, the actual numbered stamps, the ones with the price on it. If you put too few stamps on it and you underpay, you will not be charged. So yeah, I don't think they actually advertise that. And as I don't really care because they fucked me right off, I'm going to tell you now, if you are sending Christmas cards or whatever, and you're using monetary stamps, you know, knock off 10p, save yourself, they won't charge you. <sighs> but yeah. As I'm actually leaving in about an hour, so I've got to get ready. But I'm happy to sit here and talk. Why wouldn't I be? Oh, it's been six and a half minutes. I guess you. Oh shit! I've got to upload it first. Yeah, I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna end this. I'm gonna upload it before I go. I think I'll go at like eight. So like fifty minutes. Got to pack shit. Get ready. Yeah. Oh, it's nice doing this. I'll try and, uh, I do promise to, if I do get spare time, and I feel like it during this trip, I will uh, try and get even just a couple of videos done. It's just, it helps the channel. The E4 multis every other day. There's only three a week. We're only pre-recording until the 23rd. I did want to get all, I was telling the guys all cut last month, I wanted to get December covered, because I'm going away, but I guess... I think we missed a session, and uh, guys wanted to end the session early because, like, come from work and etc. It was understandable, but yeah, we do have it covered, so there's no uh, there's no issue there. Anyway, yeah, I'll see you guys, see you guys another time. Bye bye.